A Wrinkle in Time, the graphic novel, chapter five, The Tesseract. Yes, he is behind the darkness so that even we cannot see him. Sob. Do not despair. Do you think we would have brought you here if there was no hope? We are asking you to do a difficult thing, but we are confident that you can do it. Your father needs help, he needs courage, and for his children, he may be able to do what he cannot do for himself. Now, are we ready? Where are we going? We must go behind the shadow, but we will not do it all at once. We will do it in short stages. Now, we will tesser, wrinkle again. Do you understand? No. Sigh. Explanations are not easy when they are about things for which your civilization still has no words. Calvin talked about traveling at the speed of light. You understand that, little Meg? Yes. That, of course, is the impractical long way around, and we've learned to take shortcuts wherever possible. Sort of like in math? Yes, like in math. Show them with your skirt, who? La experiencia es la madre de la ciencia. Spanish, my dears, Cervantes. Experience is the mother of knowledge. You see, if a very small insect were to move from Mrs. Who's right hand to her left, it would be quite a long walk for him if he had to walk straight across. Now, you see, he would be there without that long trip. That is how we travel. Oh dear, I guess I am a moron. I just don't get it. That's because you think of space only in three dimensions. We travel in the fifth dimension. This is something you can understand, Meg. Don't be afraid to try. Was your mother able to explain a tesseract to you? No, she never did. She got so upset about it. She said it had something to do with her and father. It was a concept they were playing with, going beyond the fourth dimension to the fifth. Did your mother explain it to you, Charles? Well, yes. Don't be hurt, Meg. You were at school, and I just kept at her until I got it out of her. Just explain it to me. Okay. What is the first dimension? Well, a line. Okay. And the second dimension? Well, you'd square the line. A flat square would be in the second dimension. And the third? You'd square the second dimension then the square wouldn't be flat anymore. It would have a bottom and sides and a top, so a cube. And the fourth, well, in mathematical terms, you'd square the square, but you can't take a pencil and draw that the way you can the first three. I know it's got something to do with Einstein and time. I guess maybe you could call the fourth dimension time. That's right, okay. Then for the fifth dimension, you'd square the fourth, wouldn't you? I guess so. Well, the fifth dimension's a tesseract. You add that to the other four dimensions and you can travel through space without having to go the long way around. In other words, to put it into Euclid or old fashioned plane geometry, a straight line is not the shortest distance between two points. I see, I got it. 
I can't possibly explain it now, but there for a second I saw it. Did you get it? Enough. I don't understand it the way Charles Wallace does, but enough to get the idea. So now we go. There is not all the time in the world. Could we hold hands? You can try. I'm not sure how it will work, though we travel together, we travel alone. But you can try. Whoosh! I can feel Calvin's hand, but I'm ready this time. I'm, what's going on? Pop. Oh, no, we can't stop here. This is two dim a two-dimensional planet. The children can't manage here. That was awful, like being flattened by a steamroller. Calvin, really? Mrs. Witch, you might have killed us. Children, I apologize. Now, Charles, calm down. You know how difficult it is for her to materialize. If you are not substantial yourself, it's very difficult to realize how limiting protoplasm is. I am sorry. It is not funny. You didn't do it on purpose, did you? Oh, my darling, of course she didn't. It was just a very understandable mistake. It's very difficult for Mrs. Witch to think in a corporeal way. And it's really a very pleasant little planet and rather amusing to be flat. We always enjoy our visits there. Where are we now? In Orion's belt. We have a friend here and we want you to have a look at your own planet. When are we going home? Mother must be frantic by now. She and the twins and Fort will have been looking and looking for us and... Now don't worry, my pet. We made a nice little time tesser. And unless something goes terribly wrong, we'll have you back in about five minutes before you left. Nobody will know you were gone at all. And if something goes terribly wrong, it won't matter whether we ever get back. Don't frighten them. Are you losing faith? Oh, no, no, I'm not. I hope this is a nice planet. We can't see much of it because of the fog. Come, children, we don't have far to go, and we might as well walk. Are we going in there? Don't be afraid. It's easier for the happy medium to work inside. You'll like her, children. She's very jolly. If I ever saw her looking unhappy, I would be very depressed myself. As long as she can laugh, I'm sure everything is going to come out right in the end. Mrs. What's it? Just because you are very young is no excuse for talking too much. Just how old are you? Exactly two billion. 379,152,497 years. Sorry, that's 152,497 years. Eight months and three days. That is, according to your calendar, of course, which even you know isn't very accurate. I was really a very, it was really a very great honor for me to be chosen for this mission. It's just because of my verbalizing and materializing so well, you know. But of course, we can't take any credit for our talents. It's how we use them that counts. Ha 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 ha. Where are we? 
medium, dear, these are the children. Charles Wallace Murray, Margaret Murray, and Calvin O'Keefe. We want them to see their home planet. Oh, why must you make me look at unpleasant things when there are so many delightful ones to see? There will be no longer be so many pleasant things to look at if responsible people do not do something about the unpleasant ones. Look, children, look well. Your own Milky Way. No, no, medium dear, that's Mars. Do I have to? Now! Is it because of our atmosphere that we can't see properly? No, Meg, you know that it is not the atmosphere. You must be brave. It's the thing. It's the dark thing we saw from the mountain peak on Uriel when we were riding on Mrs. What's-It's back. Did it just come? Did it just come while we've been gone? No, Meg. It has been there for a great many years. It's the reason your planet is such a troubled one. But why? We showed you the dark thing on Uriel because we thought it would be easier for you to understand if you saw it, well, someplace else first, not your own Earth. I hate it. I hate the dark thing. Yes, Charles, dear, we all do. But what is it? We know that it's evil, but you have said it. It is evil. It is the powers of darkness. But What's going to happen? Please, Mrs. Witch, tell us what's going to happen. We will continue to fight. And we're not alone, you know. All through the universe it's been fought. All through the cosmos. And my, but it's a grand and exciting battle. I know it's hard for you to understand about size, how there's very little difference in the size of the tiniest microbe and the greatest galaxy. Some of our very best fighters has, have come right from your own planet. And it's a little planet, dears, out on the edge of a little galaxy. You can be proud it's done so well. Who have our fighters been? Oh, you must know them, my dear. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Jesus. Of course, go on, Charles, love. There were others, all your great artists. They've been lights for us to see by. Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo and Shakespeare and Bach and Pasteur and Madame Curie and Einstein and Schweitzer and Gandhi and Buddha and Beethoven and Rembrandt and St. Francis. Now, you, Meg, oh, Euclid, I suppose, and Copernicus, but what about father? Please, what about father? We are going to see your father. But where is he? Oh, on a planet that has given in, so you must prepare to be very strong. I can't stand it any longer. Watch now, children. Watch. That's the end of chapter five. Next time we'll pick up on chapter six, The Happy Medium.